the, the Romax app is a great idea. Um, it completely removes any temptation uh, to use your mobile phone. Thames Water, we're doing some fantastic stuff in health and safety. I think in many respects now, we're up there with some of the leaders in the industry. And I think you do need the leading companies being the leaders. And we've got a wider responsibility on our shoulders than just looking after Thames Water. And if anything we can do to promote health and safety across the industry, we want to be there at the table. It's really all about basics of, of risk assessment. So companies uh, will recognise they have certain risks in, in what they're doing and they need to manage that and, and occupational road risk is, is one of those. And if they're giving employees mobile phones, uh, then they need to have a system to deal with the risks which arise from their potential use out on the road. When you actually look at some of the systems, a lot of the systems are actually built into the vehicle or assigned to the vehicle. That's great if you're monitoring the vehicle, but what we're ultimately trying to do here is to look after people. So I'd rather be looking at a system that looks after the person rather than the vehicle. And for that reason it needs to be mobile, it needs to be assigned to the individual rather than the vehicle. From a health and safety point of view, that's got to be the way to go. Like many companies, we've got thousands of people actually out on the ground at any one point in time. Um, some of those people we work in teams, some of the people we work in pairs, but quite a few of our people are actually work on their own. And you've got to keep them safe. And to have some form of lone working system is absolutely essential in today's world. Uh, whether they're working on remote sites or whether they're actually working in other areas where they actually need to have an alarm system, lone working comes well up the, well up the agenda in terms of health and safety. I think the key thing for me when we look at an employee centric solution rather than vehicle it's for health and safety and low working aspects so if I have a device that's tied to an individual I would then at least understand where exactly that employee is at what time if I then need to know where that employee is then I can have up to the minute information rather than a van that could be parked miles away that employee is, is we know where that employee is straight to the point. We had a health and safety conference with all of our major contractors and suppliers and safe driving was a major topic we covered there Fantastic, fantastic presentations that day. The following day, I walked out of our office and one of our contractors was driving his pickup around a roundabout like a dodgem. And that was the day after the health and safety conference when people walked away saying that was brilliant. So, although we can try and put the message out there and although you can give all the talks you want, actually it's not solving the problem. Seeing what I've seen in terms of Romex actually provides a solution to that challenge. It is such a simple, fantastic idea and it solves a major, major problem. The use of smartphones in vehicles is a, is a concern because smartphones require visual attention and manual attention as drivers swipe across the screens, accessing lots of different types of functionality. So it's not just calls, it's texts, it's emails, it's social media all of those very engaging, putting a driver at risk of distraction. Sometimes they might, they might be suspended, but usually uh, it, for, a, for a causing death by dangerous, it's, it, it's an immediate custodial sentence, is, is the starting point. So anybody who pleads guilty is going to get a third off, as they're entitled to, for an gu early guilty plea, but they're definitely going to prison. When you're looking at people driving when they're tired, what happens if someone's been out on an emergency situation for overnight or the following day? Now, you rely on people recognising when they're tired. You rely on people recognising when they need to take a rest. You can't always rely on that the whole time. And if you've got someone who's routinely doing something they shouldn't be doing, that's when the systems will help you. The Romex um, distraction prevention tool is a very useful um, piece of equipment for us because it will allow us to, um, if we decide that no phones are to be used at all, regardless of hands-free or not in the van, then obviously that tool will, will completely prohibit the use. You will not be able to do it. So it will enforce that policy if that policy is decided. And I think that will be quite useful for us, again, ensuring the health and safety of our guys in the field. Because I've got 5,000 people, but we've also got about 15,000 contractors. So if it's good for us, it's got to be good for the people that we work with. We've developed a robust protocol for the assessment of in-vehicle systems, so we tested the Romax Driver Distraction Prevention app through that process, and we've awarded it highly recommended status. 
Now, based on that status, we believe those choosing to use the Distraction Prevention app would be at a lower risk of uh, collisions caused by driver distraction. You look at the technology that's available now, it's great. One of the big headaches is that there's so much of it. Uh, you get into the trap of almost having maybe four, five, six different systems in any vehicle at any one time. So firstly, if you can condense everything into one system, there's got to be an efficiency there. But if you're using the right tools for the right job, not only does it make your whole company safer, it's going to make your company more efficient as well. And one of the great things we're doing at the moment is trying to get consistency across the way that we work, not just directly within Thames Water, but of all our contracts and suppliers as well. And we want common standards, common ways of working, right across, right across the piece, because it's driving health and safety. And to me, there is nothing more important in our business than making sure everyone goes home safely every night. I think that a robust policy is one half of the equation and it's always the way with any risk management situation uh, you've got to have the system and then ensure that it is enforced and then keep re reviewing what you're doing and going back over it to make sure that people are following it. And you can put the policies in place and you can actually put the training in place but that doesn't stop the distraction of the mobile phone constantly ringing. It doesn't stop the distraction of someone thinking, I've just got to give so-and-so a ring, or I've just got to contact the office, or I've just got to pick that message up. Uh, what you've actually got to do is you've got to remove the distraction. You've got to remove the temptation. People are now texting, they're surfing the internet. Um, anything that they do with a mobile phone just takes them to somewhere else, yeah. and it's somewhere they shouldn't be, really. Yeah. So it's a huge, huge problem. Well, as, as a police service, we have a policy where we're not allowed to make uh, any form of mobile phone call while on the move, whether it be using hands-free or not. And to be honest with you, I think that's the best policy. So Romex is such a great idea. I think that all drivers who have mobile phones, and that's pretty much the entire population, should have the app installed on their phone. This, for me, I think is fascinating. I don't want people making calls when they're driving around in 25. I don't want people making calls when they're driving full stop. I need to be able to communicate with them. This provides a safe way of doing it. Absolutely superb.